Hey, what's going on everyone? It's a somewhat beautiful Saturday morning. We're getting ready to take the boat out, but first I've got to do an oil change. And I thought I would show you how our oil change process goes on our 2006 6.2 Mercruiser. So first let's talk about the things you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need five quarts of oil. You're going to need the oil filter. You're also going to need more than likely an oil filter wrench. I use a small bucket inside so when I take the filter loose it doesn't spill everywhere and I just use a big bucket in back. Yes, some of you might have caught that. I don't have to pump my oil out. I'll show you a different way. I don't know if every Merc Cruiser has this option but ours does and I'm thankful for it and I'll show you a little bit what that is. Then of course you're going to need a funnel, a pair of pliers. Let's get the boat uncovered and get changing the oil. Your boat's going to look a little different when you change your oil. More than likely, you're not going to have the back seat out like we've got right here. I was working a little bit on the bilge area, so it's going to make it a little bit easier. But here's the piece I was talking about that makes all the difference in the world. If you look, you'll see a little hose hanging here. Again, not every Merc Cruiser has it. It hangs like on a little shower clip. It has a little lead on the end. That actually is the oil drain hose. You'll take this, I'm gonna slide it back through the bilge, it's gonna come out the drain plug, and super easy to drain the oil. All right, here we go, we're back under the boat. As you can see, we have the drain plug out. It comes in really handy. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get out. You can use something like this, like I showed you, you can reach up in there and grab it. Or actually, I fashioned myself a little hook. Put it up there, have somebody up in the boat with you, they hook it on pull it out super simple and I'm being lazy I'm not gonna start and run the boat because I don't want to deal with the mess of the water so it's gonna drain just a little slower but it's gonna drain nonetheless so we'll get this open there you go oil is coming out you can see I'm in the motor compartment we're getting ready to take the oil filter out like I said, I try to always use the bucket and you're probably going to want a few paper towels because it's going to make a little bit of a mess. So right now the oil's not draining real fast because it's still a, a closed system. So we're going to loosen up the oil filter, we're going to let some air into it, that'll actually drain the oil faster and then we'll go back to putting it together. You may or may not need a wrench. If you're lucky, you won't. You know, you're supposed to put them on hand tight. So get you some paper towels and just turn it and loosen it get your bucket ready go ahead and just take it off and drop it in like I said you're gonna have a little bit of oil up here all right you can just take kind of push it in yeah you can see it's black it's I'm a little overdue, as you can tell. There's that. All right, so now it's going to drain. We'll let it drain. Once it's done, we'll put the filter back in, put the oil in, be ready to go. The oil has drained. Just a tip, it's a thick oil. So if you want it to go quickly, you're going to want to run the motor, get it up to operating temperature. It'll thin it out a little. It'll drain a lot faster. We've taken about an hour break, kind of cleaned the boat. But now it's done draining, so we're going to put the oil filter back in, get ready to go to fill this thing with oil and get out to the lake. So if you're going to use the Quicksilver parts, it's 35866340Q03. That is the Quicksilver uh, version of the Mercruiser oil filter for this. It's just hard to find the Mercruiser stuff around here without ordering it, and I wanted to get it done. I was a little overdue. So. It's already got the ring installed, so the best thing is just dip your finger in the old oil. Just wet this gasket, this seal, just a little bit so it gets a nice seal when you put it on. Super easy. Pop your finger off. Just going to thread it on nice and gentle, get it started. And you're only going to go hand tight. So there we go, we're set to go. Get ready to put the oil in. There's the oil fill. So the next thing I've got to do, I'm gonna go down below real quick. I'm gonna put the plug back in the drain hose. We're gonna pull it up, we're gonna hook it back up here. We're gonna fill it with oil, gonna 
put the boat back together, and we're off to the lake. Well, there we go. It's a pretty simple process. All I've got left to do, I'll let the, the oil drain a little bit longer so there's nothing left to spill everywhere. Take out your funnel, put your cap in, make sure it's screwed in nice and tight. And last thing to do, check the oil. So picking up where we left off before my microphone decided to completely die is the last thing I needed to do was to check the oil. You should always check the oil even if you know exactly how much oil goes into your motor just to be sure there wasn't something remaining and you don't want to have an overfill issue. So right here you see I'm checking the dipstick and for those of you with eagle eyes you will notice the oil level is reading high and that's okay simply because there's no oil in the oil filter yet. We haven't run the motor. So once we get this thing buttoned up, get it out to the lake, we'll run the motor, get it hot. The oil filter will fill up with oil and we will be good to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and beneficial. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to my channel. In the meantime, get out there and enjoy the lake and happy boating. We'll see you on the next video.